Hello, this video provides a quick tour of the ST branch guided setup. To deploy branch gateway, you need to first create a new group. Select all devices from the context filter. You will notice the context change to global. In the context menu under maintain, click on organization. Under the groups tab, click on new group. You will be asked to enter a group name and select the group type. Let's use the default settings for now. Enter the password and click on Add Group. Now select the newly created group and click on Config. Select Gateways from the first level tab and click on the configuration icon. You will immediately see a pop-up asking you to choose either Branch Gateway or VPNC. Choose Branch Gateway and click Save Settings. You will notice a guided setup on the screen which will take you through five major steps. Let's start with the first step, that is system. Here you can either configure the system IP address pool at the group level or specify static IP address later at the device level. For this case, define the system IP address pool. Select the respective model number of the branch gateway you plan on deploying. Click on Add icon Provide the NTP server IP address or FQDN and select the time zone. To add a DN server, you will notice multiple options in the drop down menu. For now, let's click Google and hit Next. Create a local management user. Just take a quick glance at the summary page. Once verified, click on Finish. Next step is LAN. Under LAN configuration, create some VLANs. Let's assign some LAN ports for those VLANs you just created and click Next. Take a look at the summary view and click Finish. Next, you configure the WAN parameters. Select the appropriate health check destination. Select the applicable load balancing mode. Enable HA deployment to configure the branch gateways in HA pair. Configure the WAN uplinks and click Save. Review the summary page and click Finish. Next step is to configure SD WAN and routing. You start by configuring a DC preference, that is, your head end gateway. In case you have multiple data centers, the first gateway will be primary. Provide static routes if necessary. For overlay routing, you will select the VLANs created in the previous step and redistribute them to the head-end gateway. Review the summary and click on Finish. The last step is Policies. Here you can configure role assignment policy for determining client access based on the user roles. Next is policy for deep packet inspection of application used by clients. For this demo, let's choose the default applications. Here you can set up a policy for dynamically steering client traffic to best performing uplink. Next, you can set up QoS roles based on your network requirement. The last option is to set up firewall policies for website content filtering. Review the summary and click Finish. This shows how easy it is to set up branch gateway at the group level using the guided setup. As you can see, we are making Central easier to use than ever before, simplifying management to enable you to get onto the things that matter most to you and your business. Thank you for watching.